This week's lesson is on Renaissance people. There's a lot of Renaissance people to cover this week, but we're only going to get to the top five. You're probably going to disagree with this list, so feel free to comment. But here are my top five. Number one is William Shakespeare. Number two is Miguel Cervantes. Number three is Queen Elizabeth. Number four is Nicholas Copernicus. And number five is probably the most famous Renaissance person, Leonardo da Vinci. Again, if you disagree with my list, feel free to comment. Thank you. Number one on the list is William Shakespeare. William Shakespeare was born in Stratford-upon-Avon in England. He lived from 1564 to 1616. Shakespeare was one of the greatest poets and playwrights to have ever have lived. In his early life, he became an actor and learned to write plays. His plays talked about life's sufferings, but they also had a sense of humor in them. Shakespeare wrote sonnets, which are 14-line poems. But what he is most famous for is his 38 plays. Some of his most famous plays were The Merchant of Venice, Romeo and Juliet, Macbeth, Hamlet, A Midsummer Night's Dream, and Julius Caesar. His plays have the universal themes of love, hate, jealousy, and fear. They still make movies and plays about them today. And what you see here in the picture is the Globe Theater. This is where Shakespeare had his plays. Uh, the one you see in London right now is a recreation. You could still go there and see plays to this day. The next person on the list is Miguel Cervantes. Miguel Cervantes is a Spaniard and he is best known for his comic novel Don Quixote. Cervantes was born in Madrid and he lived from 1547 to 1616. He had a very interesting life. Early in his life, he was a soldier and he got shot twice in the chest during a sea battle. He also injured his hand so badly that it became useless. Several years later, he was taken prisoner by sea pirates and spent five years of his life as a slave in North Africa. His family eventually bought his freedom. His book, Don Quixote, poked fun at Spanish society. It was a satire similar to the talk shows of today or some of those cartoons that you might watch. The story is about an elderly man who thinks he is a knight. He has a companion who is a farmhand named Sancho Panza who thinks he is a squire. The King of Spain once saw a man reading and laughing so hard that he was crying. The King replied, that man is either crazy or he is reading Don Quixote. Don Quixote has, the novel has several famous quotes. Here's one. He who is down one day may be up the next unless he really wants to stay in bed. Or, the truth may be stretched thin, but it never breaks, and it always surfaces above lies as oil floats on water. The third term for Renaissance people is Queen Elizabeth. Queen Elizabeth was an English monarch who lived from 1533 to 1603. Remember, the word monarch mean, means king or queen. She was the daughter of one of the most famous English kings, Henry VIII. Her mother was Anne Boleyn, who was executed by her father, Henry VIII. Anne Boleyn was accused of being unfaithful, and she was beheaded. During her long rule, culture exploded in England, and she helped expand the country's territories and expand their borders. This long period of prosperity is known as a golden age. The catalyst for this was the defeat of the Spanish Armada in 1555. Queen Elizabeth never got married because she feared a man would take her power. The fourth term for Renaissance people is Nicholas Copernicus. Nicholas Copernicus was a Polish scientist and is called the father of astronomy. Copernicus was born in Turin, Poland in 1473 and he lived until 1543. He discovered that the sun and not the earth was the center of the solar system. This view that the sun is the center of the solar system is called the heliocentric view. When people thought that the Earth was the center of the solar system or the universe, this is called the geocentric field. 
Copernicus wrote a book called On the Revolutions of Celestial Spheres. The book was banned by the church because it went against its teachings. The church in this case is, of course, the Catholic Church. Eventually, Copernicus's theory was accepted by many scientists and he was proven correct. And the last item on the list is Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo da Vinci was a true Renaissance man. He was born near Florence, Italy, and lived from 1452 to 1519. He studied many subjects and mastered them. For example, he studied sculpture, painting, engineering, architecture, math, music, anatomy, and botany. In addition to Florence, he spent much of his life in Milan and in France. He had a creative mind and sketched out many ideas for inventions. Some include helicopters and submarines that were way ahead of their time. His most famous painting, of course, was the Mona Lisa that is housed in the Louvre Museum in Paris today. He was considered eccentric and did many things that were uncommon back in the day. For example, he was a vegetarian and he liked to buy caged animals and then set them free. He is also known for painting The Last Supper, The Lady with the Ermine, and The Betuvian Man. And that's the Pepe list for this week. Agree or disagree? Let me know.